Rugby World Cup 2023, folks. The final pool game that I watched, not the final pool game. This was played prior to Fiji up against Portugal, but Romania Tonga, <clears throat> dead rubber in pool B, a tough pool. All these, all these games that these guys have played up against the likes of Scotland, Ireland, South Africa. Well, they've been tough. So it was nice to see both of these sides actually play in something of a more even contest. And uh, both sides score a few good tries. We'll go through some key events and stats and you guys can let us know your thoughts. But um, yeah, like I said, overall positive vibes in a game which didn't have a heck of a lot riding on it. I mean, Romania won a penalty at scrum time early, which was encouraging. They missed the resulting shot at goal, which was not so much. But overall, their goal kicking was actually pretty good. Uh, the next Romanian penalty, they went for touch. Lost the line out. So couldn't really capitalize on their kind of early momentum. And then George Moala started going into kind of beast mode. He gets mad at the match in this game. <clears throat> Tonga had a big line, a line break up the field. I and mean, Moala was the main guy trucking it up. Big Ben Tamiofuna had a big carry. Uh, they eventually get the ball wide to Solomon Kata. And uh, it's Pietau with the final offload. He's able to go for a try, Kata. So seven points to nil. And then uh, Moala backs it up with another big, powerful carry. I mean, Tonga... Just able to get it over the advantage line. And this time, Moala's the guy who finishes it off. Just his huge frame. Man, I wish he was available for the rest of the pool. Not saying he would have made a difference to the other games, but he certainly added some punch into that Tonga midfield. So 14 points to nil. Tonga did concede three points from a Romanian penalty, which was, I thought, for Romania, maybe going to settle things down a bit. But Tonga just replied again with another try. They were relentless. Havili to Talitui to Takalua to Taumoipiao out wide, 21-3. This is looking like, for Romania, it could go as bad as some of the other games. But credit to Romania, they actually managed to kind of hold and then get some pressure back on the Tongan guys. They had their own period of pressure. Eight phases, not really getting much go for it, but they at least managed to win a penalty. Tongan guys conceded one. They go for touch. They go through some phases. They kind of bobble the ball. But um, they are able to pounce. And that man, Bobak, goes over on half an hour. So 21 points to 10. That's looking a bit tidier. And then Leva Fafita getting a yellow card for a high shot means it's 15 v 14. So what can Romania do? Can they punish? Yes, they can. Off for touch. Go for a more. Again, the ball's a little bit messy. But that man, uh, Surguyu, that's his last match. He's a Romanian veteran. But he snipes over for a try. 21 points to 17. Suddenly... Suddenly, it's game on. 21-17 at halftime. I mean, Tonga's had 50... Sorry, both sides have made 57 tackles. But Romania's missed 26 on top of that. Uh, Tonga's only missed 8. So, yeah. Romania's defending left a little bit to be desired. But, as I said, they came back really well in the latter half of that first half. Penalty count for Tonga's a bit concerning. 6-3. to three. Good news for them was, though... The yellow card remained the yellow card. Saliva so Favita was able to come back on. But it didn't start that well in the second half because Piatau, who's been one of the better players for the song inside, just kind of dropped the ball cold. Uh, initially gave um, a chance for the Romanians to scrum. They won a penalty at scrum time again, which was a little bit surprising. There was some talk of the turf maybe tearing up, causing part of it. But Romania lost their line out. So, yeah, a bit of a let off. They needed to kind of capitalize that momentum. And then... Tonga, they do capitalize. When they go down the other end, they are ruthless. They get them all. It's five meters out. Uh, it's one of their first real chances, apart from a little dink through, right proceeding to this when they had advantage. Like five meter mall, Vailamu, boom, over. And it's 28-17. So I was thinking, okay, maybe seeing as Tonga you know, had this quiet period, maybe they're going to run away with the game the same way they did the start of the first half. Not really, because Simeon Esco gets the next try for, for Romania. And it's proper magic. It's a line uh, break down the left wing, a pass over the top, and then a kick through. And then, uh, yeah, Timonescu is able to finish it off. So back to game on, 28-24. Romania had great momentum, but that's the last scoring of the game for the Romanians. So final 20 minutes, Tonga, I guess that extra level above the Romanians, the kind of, uh, the difference shows. They go through nine phases, Kata with a big carry. They go left, back to the midfield. They get another try. This one's through Peter Aki. Uh, it's 35-24. Harvili kicks a nice 50-22. They go line out. They get it to the backs. Moala to Harvili Piatau. 
Uh, Cutter, he gets his second try. So it's 40 points to 24. First misconversion from Harvey for that one. Then Romania get a yellow card in their own goal line. Tonga tap at five meters out. It looks like they're probably going to go over, but now nah, there's a forward pass in the build up. And then Tama Fuleo, uh gets the last try of the game, which was one of the better ones, man. Because Romania are in their own end. They just try this little grubber trick play to get out of their own 22. It's not much of an exit. And Tonga just run it straight back at them, spread it wide. Tamo Fulau, what a try uh, on the counter in the corner. Great finish. Young man gets a try to World Cup. Not a bad way to um, to finish off the tournament for them. 45-24. I mean, both sides ran it back and forth for the last few minutes, but nothing really doing. So, yeah. Nice game without being anything kind of too dramatic. Some good tries. And, um, yeah, had some back and forth during the middle periods. Run meters 744 to 304, so Tonga pretty dominant. 13 clean breaks to 5. 44 defenders beaten to 12. So just dominant in the areas you expect them to be. Uh, possession 57%, territory 58%. They tackled to 89% the Tongans, whereas Romania was 75%. So just, yeah... There's a difference between the sides. Moala had 12 defenders beaten, three clean breaks, 160 meters. And Havili even made 10 from 10 tackles. What a shift. Simeonescu had 112 meters, three clean breaks. Bobak had 17 from 17 tackles. But yeah, it's been a tough World Cup for the Romanians. But they at least scored a few tries in their final game. Gave a decent account of themselves. And Tonga, I really think they got better as the tournament went on. It's just a pity they were in a pool as tough as they were. Um... The fact that Scotland doesn't even make it out of the pool and they're the fifth ranked team in the world just shows you how tough this pool was. But yes, that is the pool stage is done. We now await the quarter finals. Should be really interesting to see how things play out. You guys let us know your thoughts and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.